Hi boys and girls, Miss Galvin here. So we're gonna be talking about composing shapes today. And what that means is we are going to make shapes out of other shapes. But first, I wanna go over some basic shapes. So our first shape that we're gonna take a look at is a rectangle. And a rectangle has four sides, one, two, three, four, and it has four vertices. And vertices are the points where the sides meet. Then we're going to take a look at a square and a square also has four sides and four points or vertices but all of these sides are equal our next shape is a triangle and a triangle has three sides and three vertices and again those are the points where the sides meet our next shape is a trapezoid can everyone say trapezoid a trapezoid has four sides and four vertices, but so two sides are parallel. And that means they would just continue going out straight forever and they would never cross each other. The other two sides, if they kept going up, they are going to intersect or cross each other if those lines kept going. And that's how we know it's a trapezoid. Our next shape is a hexagon. And a hexagon has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. And you might notice that the same number of, that if it has six sides, it has six vertices. Like a square has four sides and it has four vertices. Our last shape that we're gonna look at is a rhombus. And a rhombus is also known as a diamond. And it has one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four vertices. So now we're going to come back down here to our rectangle. So I can make a rectangle using two squares. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to take our two squares and we put them together. And now we have a rectangle. How many squares does it take to make three rectangles? Hmm. So it takes two squares to make one rectangle. Let's count this out. So one, so two squares make one rectangle. Three, Four, four squares make two rectangles. Five, six. So six squares make three rectangles. Let's see, I count one, two, three rectangles, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six squares. So it takes, it takes six squares to make three rectangles. So for our square, I can make a square using two triangles. So I've got my two triangles here. I'm going to, hmm, how can I compose this shape? Maybe if I put it together like, ha ha, I did it, look, see? One square, dun dun dun. All right, now, a triangle. I can make a big triangle using four smaller triangles. So let's see, I've got my four smaller triangles right here. So a triangle is going to have three sides. That's not a triangle. No, that doesn't look right either. Ha ha! Ha ha! ha. There we go. See? Look. I made a big triangle using one, two, three, four smaller triangles. And even though this triangle is facing down, they're all facing different directions, there's still a triangle. It doesn't matter what direction it faces. So my triangle, if my triangle was facing, my big triangle was facing that way, that is still a triangle. Okay, so my trapezoid. I can make a trapezoid using three triangles. 
So, okay, I've got three triangles here. I'm going to compose my trapezoid. There we go. Okay, so this is a trapezoid. And again, it doesn't matter if my trapezoid is facing that way or if my trapezoid is facing that way. It is still a trapezoid. Let's see. Now, a hexagon. I can make a hexagon using one trapezoid and three triangles. So see, I have a trapezoid right here, and I've got three triangles. So I'm going to compose or make my hexagon. Da hexagon! See? One, two, three, four, five, six sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. Now, if I want to be really tricky, I can decompose decompose means break a shape into parts. So I've got this hexagon here. I've got this hexagon here. If I break this hexagon apart, now I've got two trapezoids. That's decomposing. I've got two trapezoids. When I push them together, I've got one hexagon. Now I can make a hexagon using six triangles. Now this gets a little bit tricky. So I have to figure out how to put so I know that three triangles can make a trapezoid, and I knew that two trapezoids can make a hexagon. So I've got to figure out how to make a couple of, so there's a trapezoid. I've almost got it. I've almost got it. It's gonna go home. It's going home. It's making the hexagon. Ding! And now we have a hexagon. That is awesome. All right, now let's come over here to the rhombus. I can make a rhombus using two triangles. So I have one triangle, two triangles, right? I'm going to Well, that doesn't look like a rhombus, does it? I It, it looks like a hair bow. I've got a green hair bow, but that's that's not a rhombus. That looks like trees. Maybe. Oh, there it is, there it is. Look, see, I made a rhombus. And again, it doesn't matter which direction it's facing, it's still a rhombus, but I can turn it this way, a rhombus or a diamond. Here we go. Hey. Fun fact, I have a fun fact for you. My fun fact is the plural of rhombus can be rhombuses. So I have two rhombuses or, or, and I like this word, rhombi. This, I have rhombi. That's two of them together. So I hope you guys had fun composing our 2D shapes today. I know I enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Love you. Bye.